feet planted on the floor. Lift your heart. Three breaths in and out through your nose and from your belly or diaphragm. Use your whole lungs, not just your belly, right? Just making sure we're clear on that. Perfect. All right. Let's start this. Play. A little bit of a warm up. Let's go with uh, we'll go with neck first. Okay, so just drop your chin to your chest. Keep your heart lifted. Look towards your chin. Bring your eyes back in line with your head. Bring your head back up to center. Chin up. Gentle stretch on your neck and look up. Bring your eyes back in line with your head. And then your head back to center again. Over to one side. Glance in behind with your eyes. Eyes back in line with your head. And your head back to center. On the other side, we're just going to match it up. Eyes back in line with your head. And then back to center again. That works. We'll run with that. Uh, shoulders. Let's do uh, shoulder rolls. And just find what feels good here. Change direction. Excellent. Bring your shoulders down to a rest. Perfect. Hands on your knees. Maybe some trunk circles. Okay. Come around. And then let your arms do some of the work. This circle you do can be small, can be big, whatever you like. I want you to follow your breath here too. So exhale as you come around the front. Just to change direction. Excellent. And just gonna stop right there. Yes. Extend your arms out. Wiggle your fingers out front here. Flex. Excellent. Rotate your palms. Fingers to your shoulders. Open up. Head to the sides. Back, elbows together, extend out front. One more of these. Excellent. Bring your arms all the way down. Shake that out if you need to. Nice. Let's go with the uh, down lower here. So just lift up your foot, flex and point your foot. You can hold that leg if you like. And again, just nice and easy. Don't jolt it, just nice and smooth. Excellent. Set that leg down. Other side. Flex and point. Excellent. 
Breathing in and out through your nose. Set that foot down. Other side, same thing. You can rotate the foot in the ankle joint. Change direction. Perfect. Set that foot down. Other side, same thing. Rotate. Other side. Nice. Set that foot down. Perfect. A little more arm stuff here. Come to the middle or front of your chair. Feet flat on the floor. Heart lifted. Hands um, both at the same time facing each other. Inhale your arms up. Exhale them down and as far back as they'll go. Keep them straight, extended. Spread your fingers. Nice. Inhale up. One more. Last one here. Next, your arms down. Going to shake. Fantastic. Arms out to the side. Cactus. You're going to drop your palms down. Keep your elbows where they are. Let your hands hang. Back up again. Down. It's nice and easy. Don't push. Let them go where they go. Last one. Fantastic. Straighten those arms out. Bring them all the way down. Let your shoulders come back. Nice. A little more of a hip thing here. So the front of your chair and hang on if you like. Bring your feet apart and then toes together and then apart. You can follow your breath here. Try and keep your legs as straight as you can. Exhale, toes together. Inhale, toes apart. You can hang on to your chair if you like. Let's check your posture. Excellent. Perfect. One more. Excellent. Bring those legs back in. Nice. You can tap them out if you like. I think that's good for the warm up. We'll do a little cardio thing here. All right. Uh, I'm going to start with just uh, toe taps to the front. Dang, shouldn't switch. Toe taps to the front. Excellent. Hands will push back. So straighten your arms. As your toes go forward, push. Make sure there's nothing in your way. Excellent. So we're just doing front toe taps at the moment. Change over to side toe taps. Keep your arms the same. Side, side, still pushing back. Be gentle, listen to your body. There's a funny angle for your hips, so. Excellent. Heels to the front. So front, lift your toes, hands push. Mm -hmm. 
سوينت سوينت bring your arms down flip your palms to the front push so from your midline and then and again toe taps to the side hands are still pushing forward excellent perfect back into a march We're going to do some knee ups. So hands will uh, push down. Okay, so knee comes up and your hands push down. One. We're going to change our hands up a little bit. Stay with your knee ups. And the opposite knee. So a little rotation on your upper body. Fantastic. Four, three, two, one. Excellent. Back into your march again. Again. If the march gets to be too much, keep uh, stay with the rolling march. Okay. Try and keep that blood flowing. It's a good thing. Excellent. Let's do some rows here. Again, stay with your march or rolling march. Hands out front. Reach, grab, and pull. Reach, grab, and pull. Reach, grab, pull. Reach, grab, pull. Reach, grab, pull. Three more. Last one. Reach, grab, and pull. Fantastic. Bring your arms down. Shake that out. Nice. Perfect. And then back up into your march again. Nice. Some uh, side jacks, I think. So I'm going to rotate. You don't need to. Perfect. So, have it to the side, one foot at a time. And whatever foot goes out, that's the same arm that's going to cross across. You can lean into it if you like today. Not necessary though. And then you can push farther depending on how you feel. And again, just listen to your body. Keep the step tap. I'm going to add an open arm. So this height of this hand, whatever, whatever works for you today. Breathe. Excellent. Back across your body again. Push, push. Fantastic. And bring those arms down. Stay with this step tap out to the side. Now add, make a skip or step jack, okay? Side jack. So whenever you lean to the up, add an arm with the leg. Do it the easy way here. And that's a bit. Heart lifted. Mm -hmm. 
Excellent. Four more. Three, two, and one. Fantastic. Bring those arms in again into your march. Soft fists. Perfect. We'll do some punches here. Bring your fists up, chest height. Uh, you're going to tighten them this time. Start with your dominant hand. We're going to double everything. So it's going to be a punch, punch, hook, hook, up, and uppercut. Perfect. Punch, punch, hook, hook, up, up. Find a little target. Focus on. Ooh. Up the speed a bit. Hook, hook, up, and up. Punch, punch, hook, hook, up. Punch, punch, hook, hook, up, and up. Punch, hook, uppercut. Punch, hook, uppercut. Nice. Stop right there. Fantastic. Wiggle your fingers. Flex your wrists. Nice. And again, if the march is too much, switch that rolling march. All right. So I'm going to start with the non dominant hand. Again, it's the same pattern. Okay. So punch, punch, hook. Hook, up, and up. Punch, punch, hook, hook, up, up. Punch, punch, hook, hook, up, up. Punch, punch, hook, hook, up, up. Punch, punch, hook, up, got. Punch, hook. Uppercut, punch, hook, uppercut, one more, hook, hook, uppercut, fantastic. Again, wiggle your fingers, perfect. Have a sip of water, you should have some water handy. You change your rolling march, but keep the feet moving if you can. Fantastic. What are we doing here? Time is good. All right. So a different kind of step tap this time. So normally we do our step tap. It's like out and out, right? Always the same, either forward or sideways or to the back, right? This time we're going to alternate, okay? So we're going to go front, side, right, side, front, front, side, side, front, front, side, side, front. Get the idea? I'll switch here, back again, back to it. Oh, this is good. Slows it down a little bit for us. Okay, so front, side, side, and front. So we're alternating foot, feet as we go along here. And front, front, side, side, Back to the front again. So it's always the opposite leg that's coming in and doing the step. Excellent. <laughs> and if I get it right, and if you mess up, it's okay, it's all good. Play along, okay? And side, and side, and front. Front, side. We're gonna add, add hands here in a second. Just to mess you really up. But you're just going to follow your feet so it won't be so bad. Okay? So front, side, side, and front. Front, side, side, and front. Front, side, side, front. Front, side, side. Excellent. 
front, side, side, front, front, side, side, and front, perfect, into a march. Oh, it's a flow march too. We're gonna take advantage of this. Walk your way to the front a little bit. Add some circles with your arms. Nice. Change direction. So these circles about the size of a dinner plate. And the music will speed up slowly here. Nice. Change direction again. Try and stay with it. Breathe. Nice. Slowly bring those arms down. Shake them out. Nice. Add your arms again. Perfect. Bring your heels out to the front corners. Lift your toes. Nice. Add some, some arm movements here. So hands in between, connected. Do it this way. Up and down. Up. Up. Excellent. Some wacky syncopate syncopation here. Up, down, up, down. Nice. Perfect. And one more. Down, fantastic. Bring your hands back into your march, or rolling march. Well done. I think we messed around with that a little bit. It's good. It's going to go into a cool down. It's nice and easy here. Heels to the front. And push back. Heart lifted. Breathe into your nose. Excellent. Perfect. Into a soft march, a rolling march. Nice. Add your arms, a soft fist. Okay. Heart lifted. So you're just bouncing basically. Excellent. Let's go for a little hip twist in. So bring your feet a little farther apart. And again, you're just rolling. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to bring your heel to the side and the other side. And you turn a little bit more, see a bit better. One foot at a time, like the side. Excellent. Back to your rolling march again. Not march, rolling march. Nice. Excellent. Okay. Tuck your elbows in. Uh, bring one hand across your belly. The other hand's just out front. Okay. Just facing, right? Palms up. Slowly bring it out to the side. Count for three, two, and one. Bring that arm back in. Other side, same thing. Count. Three, two, one, and back. Swing the other one out. That elbow tucked. And two, and one, and back in. Other side. Keep that 90 degree angle, elbow tucked. One more, excellent back. And out to the other side again. Last one here. Back to center, last one on this side, elbow tucked. Nice. Feel that in your shoulder. Nice. Bring it back in, bring your arms down, shake them out if you need to. Do some shoulder shrugs, keep your arms straight. So inhale up, exhale down. Inhale, 
And exhale. Fantastic. One more here. Excellent. Fantastic. Let your shoulders relax. And shake your arms out. Nice. Get you to roll your wrists. Again, keep your feet going if you can. Start low. You know, bring them up. Shoulder height. No higher. Change direction. Nice. Stop right here. Fingertips up. Tilt your arms. Keep your body straight. Push high, push low. Excellent. Change. And the other side when you're ready. Nice big stretch. Breathe. Swing back to center again. Straighten your fingers and just bring your arm. Take that out. Nice. A little more shoulders help us. Go forward and back. Exhale as you go forward or bring your shoulders together. Inhale, shoulder blades touch. Excellent. One more here. Fantastic. Again, let your shoulders relax here. Stay with your rolling march. Nice. So have a sip of water. We're going to switch over to isometric exercises. Well done. All right. Let's start with... Um, Legs, I think, they seem to be the ones. So on your chair, push yourself all the way to the back. Okay. Find your spot, get yourself comfortable-ish, heart lifted. One of your legs, doesn't matter which one, pick it up and out. Get yourself comfortable, again-ish. Toe up towards your knee. Count 15 seconds here. Five more. Excellent. Fantastic. Bring that leg down nice and easy. And tap it out if you like. I find it kind of gets the blood flowing better. Other side, same thing. Straighten your leg. Toe up towards your knee, 15 seconds, or three breaths, whatever works for you. Excellent, put that leg down, nice and easy, perfect. You can tap that out again. That was good. Let me rotate again. Walk to the front of your chair. Hands on the outside of your legs. This time I'm going to get you to put your fingers up. Okay. Your idea, flat back, ideal. So flat back, hinging from your hips, right? And push your knees together and your knees are going to push your hands away, All right? Three breaths or 15 seconds. Start now. Five more seconds. Excellent. And gently release your arms, legs. Perfect. Wiggle your fingers. Flex your wrists. 
Excellent. Good. All right. Um, let's skip it up a little bit higher. So palms together, and you're going to rotate your palms so they're the opposite direction from each other. Okay. The idea, fingers pointing away, and then grip on, heart lifted. Um, do it about chest height, so lower than your shoulders. Nice. Pull. Three breaths here. Three breaths, three breaths here. <laughs> or three 15 seconds. All right. Go ahead and start. Pull, 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 pull. Don't forget to breathe. Excellent. Gently release your hands, arms, shoulders. Again, wiggle your fingers. Another push one, okay? Inside your legs this time. Hands or fingers are up again. You're gonna push your knees apart and your knees are gonna bring your hands together. At the same time, flat back, all right? Head's the extension, keep it in line. Ready, and go. Fantastic. Gently release your arms, shoulders, wrists. Come back up again. Again, flex your wrists. Wiggle your fingers. Good. So a pull again. So palms together. And you're going to rotate your hands the opposite way. Should feel awkward. That's how you know you got the right one. Excellent. We're going to hold pull again for 15 seconds. Ready? Start. Pull, 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 pull. Your heart lifted. Breathe all the way through this. Five more seconds. Fantastic. Gently release your shoulders, hands. Wiggle your fingers again. Flex your wrists. Nice. Let's do... Um, we'll do... Uh, Palms together again. Uh, this time, bring it a little bit higher. Yeah, bring it a little bit higher if you can. So shoulder height, somewhere thereabouts. Make sure your palms are pressing flat against each other. Okay. Rotate your palms away from you, or your fingertips rather. You should feel a stretch on the undersides of these hands. Okay. Shouldn't hurt, right? A little bit of pressure and then extend your arms out front. Try and keep them at the same level. Hold it for a couple of breaths here. Keep that pressure on. Excellent. Gently bring your hands back. Nice. Roll your fingertips up and release. Move your fingers. Flex your wrists again. We could do this all day. We're not going to, but we could. All right, let's uh, we'll do a little bit of um, balance here and then we'll have a seat again for uh, sitting strength. So again, have a sip of water if you like. Your shoulders should feel like they've worked a little bit. Maybe your wrists, arms too. We'll make the legs work in a minute. Yeah, stand up and we'll start uh, behind your chair. Okay. Adjust accordingly. All right, so just imagine I'm behind my chair. You come up on the balls of your feet. So 
keep your feet less than hip width apart. So close, closer they are, the more challenge it is. So it's up to you how you feel. Lift your heels. Relax your shoulders. Let your heels, let your uh, ankles work as they need to support you. Excellent. Breathe. Excellent. Slowly lower your heels down. Floor. Perfect. Holding onto your chair. You're going to rock back onto your heels, lifting your toes. Nice. All this is done behind your chair, okay? Again, rock forward on the balls of your feet. Lift your heels. Extra balance here. Excellent. Lower back down again. Lift your toes. Hold it. Nice. One more. Up. Perfect. Lower back down to your heels. It's time to walk it out a little bit. Beside your chair. And I'd like you to step back far as you can still touch your chair okay i'm going to walk on your heels forward so you want to be able to have that chair there for you so just lift your toes i'm just going to walk as far as it'll allow you holding onto your chair forward and back a couple times i know it's not easy you know excellent and one more time to the back. Excellent. And just set your toes down. Let your ankles kind of come back for you. Nice. Perfect. We did the heels. So we'll do a toe walk forward. So again, holding on to your chair. Come up on your toes. And you're going to tiptoe to the front. Nice. And tiptoe to the back. If you don't need your chair, fantastic. If you do, use it. Build strength first. One more time to the front. You just modify this as you need to. Perfect. Come to the back. Get you to lower your heels down. Excellent. All right. Let's go with uh, one more. To the sides. You're going to walk on the outsides of your feet. Okay, so like cowboy, walk your way to the front. You should feel the size of your feet. Excellent. Nice. Perfect. Hold your chair if you need to. Again to the front. You should feel that roll to the front. And as you walk back, again, a roll to the back. Nice. Perfect. Fantastic. Come back to your flat feet again. Like down. Nice. Okay, I have to do one more here. So the insides of your feet. So bring your insides of your feet together. I'll be the only one looking funny, so it's okay. So just walk your way to the front. Nice. And then walk your way to the back. And you should feel on the insides of your feet. Your weight of your feet, weight of your body. Nice. One more time. To the front and to the back. That's perfect. And once you get to the back again, just kind of walk that out. Shift your hips if you need to. Excellent. I'm going to switch sides. We've done enough of that. Let's do uh, one foot in front of the other. So outside foot. Excellent. Again, make sure, actually, you back it up a little bit more, away from your chair, or push your chair forward. You're gonna do that single line walk, tight rope, hang onto your chair if you need to. Excellent. Two or three steps forward, and then step back, take your time. One more time to the front. 
Nice. Perfect. And back to your starting point. Nice. Right there, good. Perfect. And actually, you know what? We'll do the other side too. So the inside leg, you're going to bring it to the front. So normally when you take a step, you step with a, a right foot or a left foot. That seems to be the way people are. So by changing our initial step, you just kind of get your balance accustomed to. Doesn't matter which leg you choose, both legs will be there for you. Okay. One more time to the front. Heart lifted, relax your shoulders, slint, and then back again. Nothing too bad today. Perfect. Excellent. Again, have a seat. We'll do some seated seated strength exercises. So, front of your chair. Nice. I think you know where I'm going with this. Do some sit to stands. Actually, no, it's going to be squats from here. So, just make sure you're about the middle of your chair, not the front. That would be better for you. Better for me too. Inhale as you come up, push your feet into the ground. All right. And do eight repetitions. So we're going to do them kind of slow. Don't sit down. Inhale back up. Exhale back down. You find your comfort level on the depth of this squat. We're doing it slow, so it's going to be going to feel like it's harder. And maybe it is a little bit. We're halfway. It's in the slow. Three. Two. And one. Hold it for four, three, two, one. Find your chair. Have a seat. Nice. You held that. Fantastic. Just tap your feet out here a little bit. Perfect. Fantastic. Um. Push yourself in the back of your chair or actually walk your way to the back of your chair. Nice. A little more on legs. Okay, so push yourself back in a chair, heart lifted, and lift your leg up and out, back and down. Other side, same thing. So up, out, back, and down. I'm going to do eight repetitions. You work at your value or your number today. You want it to be harder, go slower. Make sure you don't hold your breath. Breathe all the way through. And then out through your nose. Two more. Excellent. Last set. Fantastic. Excellent. Well done. I'll get you to walk your way to the front of your chair. And then to the back. Front again, the back, a lot of cheek walking here. Excellent. And to the front one more time and stop up there. Oops. 
be flat on the floor. Do a single leg toe drag. Okay. So step out, toe down, let your heel drag that foot back. Again, moderate the pressure you put on that foot. Well, a little bit of resistance, not too, too much. Excellent. Halfway. Three, two, and one. Excellent. So one foot forward, other side, same thing. Step forward, lift your heel, and drag that foot back. Nice. Five more, four, three, two, and one. Nice. Bring your feet back to the front again. Do a Cross, grab your elbows, keep them up, hinge from your hip as you exhale forward, keep your elbows up, inhale back, touch your back against the chair, exhale forward again. Nice and easy, take your time. Halfway. Slint and two. And one. So set your back and come right up. Perfect. Bring your arms down. Work. Fantastic. Stretches. That's all we got left. So um, different one. Again, at the front of your chair, bring the soles of your feet together. Okay, so you're pretty much at the front of your chair. Okay. Make that diamond shape with your legs, right? Perfect. Grab a hold of your chair. Once you get fastened there, tilt forward. Keep your back flat. Hinge from your hips. Okay. So I don't know if you can see what's going on here. Pretty much I'm hanging onto the chair. Tilting forward, legs are open, hearts lifted, back is flattish on a funny angle. Breathe. Onto that chair. Fantastic. Gently bring yourself back up. Undo your legs. Perfect. You want to stamp them out a little bit. Fantastic. A little more of a stretch here. We'll do, uh, oh, actually, I'll get you to stand up. We'll do everything, the rest of these standing. Only a few more minutes left. And 
and just accordingly, hands on the back of your chair. Step your right leg back. Start with the right. Plant your heel. Okay. Nice straight leg. Straighten that leg right out. Pick yourself up. You're going to feel a pull in that front leg. Gentle. Enjoy it. Two more breaths. Fantastic. That leg in the back, bend the knee. Keep your heels on the ground. Fantastic. Just straighten your legs and come back up to the chair. The other side, same thing. So left leg back. Plant your heel with everything where it needs to be for your support, and then pick yourself up. Those heels planted. Two more breaths. Excellent. Bend that straight leg. Heels on the ground. Excellent. Spinning legs again. You step. Perfect. Nice. And behind your chair, still. You to bring your feet apart. Okay. You can do it from the side. Okay. Yourself in a good sturdy stance. Excellent. Perfect. Do a star stretch. So hands are straight. You're going to bring them up above your shoulders. So reach. Like you're reaching for the corners between the ceiling and the wall. Perfect. Breathe. Check your posture. See the breath. Fantastic. And gently lower those arms back down. Shoulders come back. We'll do a little hip thing here. Again, hands on your hips. And shift your hips to one side. And just Lean into it if you choose. This hand's going to be a support. This hand just has to look good. Breathe. You should feel your ribs opening up. Excellent. On an inhale, bring yourself back up. Perfect. Straighten your hips out. When you're ready, the other side. So shift your hips first. Nice. Get yourself situated. And then open up again. Again, this hand's going to be the support one. And then this one just has to look good. Excellent. On an inhale, bring yourself back up again. Perfect. Fantastic. Again, switch your arms down. You can shake them out if you like. Let's do a big bear hug. So out right to the sides, Open your fingers again. Remember which arm you bring up top. Grab your shoulders, elbows or whatever. It's all good. Lift your heart. Breathe. Quick. Enjoy that stretch in your shoulders.
Excellent. Open up your hands. Side. Nice. Back as you can possibly take them. Excellent. And then bring it to the front this time. Other arm goes on top. Excellent. Open that arm up again. Fantastic. And just lower your arms down. Shoulders come back. Nice. That's it. Little squat. Cross your arms. Inhale up. Exhale down. Last. Perfect. Fantastic. Well done. Excellent. Thank you.